So your name is? Christina Lester. And how long have you been in Kerr, Christina? Um, <laughs> a long time. A, a long, long time, time for about most of your life? Most Would of my life, yeah. Most of my life, okay. So where do you stay at the minute? Where are you living with at the minute? Stay in Pat Fan. And how long have you been there for? Just over three years. Just over three years. Mm -hmm. How many people would there be in your home with you at the minute? Nine. But Nine. that's including Saint Pat. So seven other People, children, yeah. and what sort of age range are you talking about there? From 12 till 23. 12 to 23. What's the best thing about living in foster in a foster home? You just meet new people and you make new relationships with people. Would you meet many new people during that? Lots, definitely. Lots of... With like, we, there's like an award ceremony for foster children mm -hmm. and through that you meet lots of people and there's residentials and you meet lots of new friends. And you find that makes, you know, helps your personal skills. Yeah, it helps my confidence a lot. I don't like talking to new people but when I start talking to lots of new people I get used to it. So. And from the history point of view, uh, very keen, mm. very interested. Uh, yes, she would be very dedicated to her work, so she would be well up on my spectrum of a, a good pupil. Good pupil. And you taught her older brothers as well, Thomas as well? I Thomas taught was. Thomas, and uh, Thomas was certainly a character, uh, much different than uh, Christina, but uh, Thomas enjoyed history. Mm -hmm. And because of that, I didn't have any problems with Thomas. Thomas and I had a very good rapport, mm -hmm. and uh, we got on very well. And I knew Christina through Thomas, because Thomas was very close to Christina and very uh, keen that she would come to the school. We think you've learned from... If there was a big lesson you've learned, maybe? I learned a lot about family. Like it comes in all shapes and sizes. It doesn't matter whether you're blood or not. Right. Families, people who actually care about you enough and I can see that through this house. Right. So. Been good for Christina too then you feel the house? Yeah definitely because both of us especially like we were all together me and Tiny mm -hmm. the whole way until just before Soon Pots. I moved to Soon Pots before her mm -hmm. and she was on her own mm -hmm. and I find that really weird. Like mm -hmm. I, when I used to see her once a week mm -hmm. for an hour and I find it not family oriented. We said someone over here listen to what you're saying. Uh -huh. um, and then when she moved in, I said I said to her that it was the worst time of my life, but it was the best. All right. So Christina doesn't know this was the best no, time I, of your I, life. I always wind her up and go, see if you if you hadn't moved in, my life would be good. <laughs> but <laughs> no, seriously, it was it was the best thing that ever happened because once once she was there, it was it was brilliant because of soon part my mum and dad now uh -huh. and. Tiny actually sees him as mum and dad as well. So how long have you known Christina then? Six years. Six years, yep. but you've been you've known her longer than you've been living, living there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, and you have obviously known Christina all your life. If I had to think of, if you had to think of two words for describing your wee sister, what would you say? Could you say two things you admire about her? Bright, bright, funny. Bright and funny. If you had to think of two words that you used to, you know, that, that you admire about her, this is going to be difficult now. This is going to be difficult. Too, she, too. She's smart, like, and, and good sports. 
good sport. You yeah. admire that a bit. Yeah. Yeah, the two things that you like about Christina. Um, she's really trustworthy. Trustworthy. Would you yeah. find you can confide yeah. in her, and it doesn't end up on Facebook or no. places like that? Anything else that you particularly like about Christina? Um, she's honest. I'd have to say, um, whenever like whenever you have a problem like anything with Christina, you can just go tell her, and she'll like always cheer you up, no matter what it is. All right, it's good cheering people up. No matter how bad you're feeling, she's always there and she cheers you up just by being her. You play hockey with Christina, isn't that right? Yeah. School team, what position does she play? Left, mid, I think. Left, mid. How would you describe her as a player? She's really good and she's got quite a bit of skill. Not a lot of skill, skillful yeah. player. <laughs> were you in foster care before? Yeah. You were? How did you, how, how, what's life like in foster How did you find that? At the start it was hard. Right. So I, was, I was living with Monty, and then I moved out of Monty's mm -hmm. and went up to Belfast for a while. Right. And then came to St. Pat's. St. Pat's, and the St. Pat's where you've been the longest. Yeah. Earlier on, Thomas said he feels that there, it's a family. Is that oh, how you definitely, went? yeah. Right, right, and we just say it's a strong family. Yeah. Right, with all the ups, all the downs. <laughs> yeah. everything. Everything that goes yeah. with that. So, and that, how does that feel? Strong Good. family? Good. Yeah. Safe? Yeah. Right. Good. How long have you been with Pat and Sue? About four years. About f four. F four years? Yeah, so right, so you've been staying with them from you've been about 18? Yeah. Okay, how do you find it there? Good. Good, right. Yeah. And how do you find living with your wee sister? That's good. <laughs> good. Right. Have you had a pick a word to describe, Christina? What would you, how would you describe her? Think of a good thing about her. Um, surely smart. Smart? Yeah. Right, right. What about work rate? Does she work hard at home? Yeah. yeah. Right. Harder than you would have. Yeah, definitely. 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 So what are you doing with yourself now? Um, health and social care. Health and social care. How many? How long will you be working at that for? Um, about three years. Three years. So is that a university course? No, it's like um, I have to do two years work based and then placement. Two years work based and placement. So Christina sees herself going on to university. Yeah. Do you think she'll? Yeah, definitely. Definitely make it. What is it you want to do when you leave school? I want to go to the Royals, do my A-levels, and then mm -hmm. I want to go to university, and then I want to become an English teacher. Why do you want to be an English teacher? I always liked English, and I like, um, I just like the thought of <laughs> teaching people and being able to show people that English isn't even that bad. What two things do you really not like about foster care, is there anything you'd really like to change? My parents have a lot of control over me, still, right. even though they don't look after me, mm -hmm. and soon Pat aren't able to choose what I do on a regular basis. I have to get approval from my parents to go and stay at my friend's house. So would one thing that you'd want to change then would be you'd like more control over your... Yeah. More control over your life. Um, anything else that would be... What's it like staying with seven other teenagers? That's good. I mean, is that mm. all fun and games? Not all, no. Um, it's quite tough because we're always at each other's throats. But it's just like any other home, really. That's what it is. Um, Brothers and sisters. Yeah. So Charlotte, what's your job exactly? What do you do for a living? 
Um, yeah, I am um, an athlete mentor for Dame Kinley Holmes Legacy Trust, um, which offers a wide range of programmes for young people. Uh, Unlocking Potential, which I'm working on with Christine, is just one of those programmes. I do Get On Track, um, National Citizen Service, lots of different programmes, and it's basically to help a wide range of young people. How did you get to know Christina? Uh, Christina and I met through Unlocking Potential. Um, I currently mentor two, two girls on the programme. Um, Christina is obviously based over in um, Belfast, which is a little bit different uh, for me to do the travelling um, back to and from Ireland. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I've been mentoring her on the programme now for five to six months. Could you describe some of Christina's good qualities? Uh, yeah, um, I absolutely, Christina's a fantastic girl. Um, since the moment I met her, very friendly. Um, quietly confident um, in a way I think that she's um, very positive she's a good role model um, and I've been in a school today and seen how she's with her friends um, yeah just a um, top girl to be honest um, could you describe what the DM Kelly Holmes Trust's Unlocking Potential programme is about? Yeah, the Unlocking Potential programme, um, it's a secondary school uh, programme and it's offered to all schools um, and basically teachers put forward uh, their young people who they feel would would benefit from um, having an athlete mentor work alongside them for six kind of to eight months. Um, that, that young person then gets visits from their athlete mentor um, and they run a community project. Uh, Christina's pro projects obviously uh, focusing around the fostering side of things and it's going to be a fantastic project I know uh, just from being here today how it's successful it's been um, and then after that it's just continuous support for them to gain confidence and basically to help them be successful in whatever they choose to do in life. Has foster care helped any children that you know? Foster care has helped all the children I know that are involved in it. Uh, it gives them a fresh start and ensures that they have an opportunity to achieve their potential, both academically and socially. Quite often, you know, when I've been working with, with foster parents in school, I'm quite often learning as much from them. I actually quite learn quite a bit. Um, it's, it's a team effort. You know, the old saying was that you know, it takes a village to raise a child, and that's the same for any family. So schools and authorities and, and parents are working quite close together. But certainly now, I mean, I've learned a lot from foster parents that I've spoken through through the years and it's helped me as a teacher. What sorts of people foster? My experience I've found all sorts. Um, and you can have single people, married people, couples. Um, and the other thing is that fostering isn't like adoption where there's, you know, it's a permanent relationship. Sometimes it can be a very long term fostering arrangement that ends up to where somebody remains for the rest of their life. Um, in other cases it can be a short term arrangement, you know, maybe sometime a family just needs a, a break because of different pressures. Um, and I think it's important that people don't make assumptions when they find out that a child is in foster care. Um, because I've experienced all different types of children in foster care. Um, and they're just like other kids, you know, some have problems, some are happy, some, you know, it, it's a wide, wide mix uh, of people. And uh, no, but all sorts of people foster, but what I can say is that I've, I've learned from all of them. Christina, could you tell us what you've got out of the Unlocking Potential program? I've definitely met a lot of new people and I've gained a lot of confidence through um, this program and I'm just a happier person and now I actually think that I can do more things with my life and I realise that you just have to work for it and I'm just, I'm just so glad I got on it and I'm really proud that I did.